historic moment in New York, the first inauguration of a female governor in the Empire State. Governor Kathy Hochul says she knows she has a lot of work to do, starting with crime and making New York more affordable. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang has the story. History was noted in Albany Sunday afternoon as the first woman elected governor of New York State was sworn into office. Do solemnly swear. 64-year-old Democrat Kathy Hochul, a Buffalo native who went from local politics to Congress to lieutenant governor under Andrew Cuomo, who then resigned in disgrace, to now elected governor for the next four years. New York stands for something extraordinary opportunity and ambition, compassion and tolerance, and the most fascinating people and places. Hochul was not a household name when she first slid into the governor's seat to finish Cuomo's term, but she hopes to make her own mark. The economy's down, people can't get enough pay, but as for me, Hochul is facing a troubled economy, high taxes, terrifying crime, and residents fleeing the state. Beating her challenger, Republican Lee Zeldin from Long Island, is one victory, but now comes the tough part, making good on promises for a safer, more affordable New York for all. The poet laureate for the ceremony, eight-year-old Caden Hearn from Harlem, who stood on tippy toes to reach the mic. In my mind, I heard my ancestor cry. They help clear the path so others do not have to die. We must create opportunities for the people today, but also invest in it tomorrow so our young people, like our poet Caden, can have a better life. The governor is expected to focus more on policies in her upcoming State of the State address. Lawmakers return to session in Albany on January 4th.